Well, one of Jim Labenthal's favorite ways to play the transports is Greenbrier. The stock has lost more than half its value over the last year, and today Buckingham Research has thrown in the towel. They say there's another 25% downside. They cut the rating to underperform. That means it's a sell. Price target goes to 21 bucks. It's our call of the day. Jim Labenthal, what are you doing today? Well, I think this is a steal here. I disagree with the call. I respect that everybody can have their opinions. What this analyst is saying is that for 2020, he's bringing earnings estimates about 10% below the street. Rail car demand is going to be disappointing, right? Yeah, you want me? Are you? Are you I'm, I'm just. Oh, I'm just <laughs> adding. I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm helping you. I mean, you, sh- you I'm jumped in. You. With, nice. okay, no, I'm helping you get to the place you want to get to. Here's the thing. All right, I'm helping here's, you get here's, to the end of the tracks. <laughs> Oh, and stay on the track. Right, look, what he points out, what he points out is PSR, precision scheduled railroading, and the, the decline that's recently in. in railroad loadings, okay, is hurting rail car demand. The problem is, is that's not new news, okay? That's been known for the last couple of years. And in particular, PSR, the CEO of Greenbrier said on the last earnings report they've seen no impact from it. So to have the decline in earnings that he's calling for and to put a well below uh, traditional multiple on that is just is just based on news that it's A, already known, and B, hasn't had an effect. If it were to happen, if it did go to $21 a share, these guys can borrow at about 4%. That's where their debt currently trades. I would expect them to buy back shares hand over fist because it would be trading at 50% of book value. So issue debt and and buy back stock. I mean, they've done it before. They're known to play with the balance sheet uh, opportunistically, and I just don't see why they wouldn't do that here. Where should the stock, what, where will the stock price be in 52 weeks? Because I think it's down about 50% year to date. Yeah. Where's it going to be next Jim doesn't year? like this game. I'm no, no, no. Okay. I, no, no, no. What's, so, he may not play it with you. Sure. Where's it going to oh, be? <laughs> Scott, no, in a year? In a year. $42 <laughs> dollars a share. Wait, wait, wait. Did you hear that? 42 yep. bucks. It's down 50% year to date. He's, he's calling it. See, I told you he'd play the game with me. <laughs> 42 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Wow. One year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Down 25% from this guy, up 50% from me. There you go. I mean, have you been adding to it on the way down? It's I down have. 30% yeah. year to date. I have, but I've been in and out of this stock. So it is 60% off the high, which was about this time last year. I sold into that, not exactly at the high, but in the 50s. I've been buying it back over the last three and four months. I, I think it's a steal here. Mm-hmm. So it trades at 42% discount to its peers. Is it a management issue? Who do you think are its peers? Because I see it in line with its peers. Trinity? That's really the only peer. Uh, you can say GATX also. Um, there's no management issue here. This is just an unloved sector of bending metal into the, into the form of uh, rail cars.